are here at Everlasting Adult Day Healthcare, and we have our Madam Gigi Valiente, the mother of Everlasting. Yay. Okay. Yay. Good afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon. So we're here in Everlasting. We're so happy to be a part of Everlasting. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Madam, uh, what is your role in Everlasting? Right now, I am the pro uh, the social worker of Everlasting. Uh, and it's triple uh, B, yeah, three, triple V who owns Everlasting, mm -hmm. and I am the CEO and president of Triple uh, B Home Care and Adult Services Incorporated. Um, how did Everlasting came into existence, or came into life? Everlasting was uh, owned by um, Oscar Jornation mm -hmm. and the wife Hilda Jornation. It started in 2004, 2004, and I was the program director then. Mm -hmm. In 2010, it was sold to Triple B Home Care and Adult mm -hmm. Services Incorporated, uh, and we own that. We have uh, stockholders mm -hmm. previously, but uh, right now, the Valiente family own Triple B Home Care and Adult Services Incorporated. Um, I believe there are some trying times, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, can you share them to us? How we assumed everlasting in um, uh, July 2010. 2010. The challenging times came in 2012 and 13 mm -hmm. when uh, the the government planned to close all adult day healthcare center. But it did not uh, uh, materialize. Uh, the Association of Adult Day Healthcare called for that. So it's um, there's a settlement uh, agreement, and it is continuing up to present. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, why do you give so much of your time to Everlasting? Oh, well, my heart is into it. Mm -hmm. I love seniors. All the values, all the virtues I got from them, that is the secret of my success. Mm -hmm. So that that's why I am so close to, to them. Mm -hmm. And I, give, I, I, I am giving everything. Ma, the, the strength, physical strength, emotion, uh, mental uh, strength, and everything, my resources, wow. just to continue uh, serving them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it pays. <laughs> there will be reward, I'm sure. Yes, what are the most uh, things you are proud of or, or your greatest achievements in Everlasting? Oh, the greatest uh, achievement is like um, having uh, trained uh, all the staff mm -hmm. who are now so uh, committed and dedicated to Everlasting. Uh, the participants who really appreciated and love Everlasting so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, right now, we are lucky to have our own center. It mm -hmm. is now being yeah. renovated. And hopefully, that is the biggest. That's I really asked from uh, God to have our own uh, building, adult day healthcare mm -hmm. center. And oh, he gave that to us. And hopefully, in 2024, uh, we will be there already. Wow, that is the promise. Mm -hmm. That is the reward <laughs> because of your great heart for the seniors. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, what comes next now? What is the future uh, plans for Everlasting? Well, uh, the future. <laughs> so, you know what? In the past uh, few, re uh, few years, since 2010, we spent a lot uh, paying for the uh, lease, maybe more than a million. Wow. But 
if we own the building, uh, the center, then everything, all the improvements will be for uh, Everlasting Adult Day Healthcare Center, or the triple B Home Care and Adult Services, and surely that will benefit all the staff and the participants. Mm -hmm. And I intend to give the best I can since I, uh, uh, if I am uh, still physically, mentally um, fit to do it, and in the uh, future, when, mm -hmm. when I am already the, the, the senior, senior <laughs> the participant, at least, <laughs> at least I will enjoy a very good service from the um, uh, future staff. Yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs>